Earth is a level, motionless plane, with the sun, moon, and stars revolving over and around us, just as you experience every day. The North Pole is the magnetic, monopole center point, with Polaris, the North Pole star, situated directly above. Polaris is the only motionless star in the heavens, with all the other constellations revolving perfect circles over the Earth every night. The so-called planets, known to the ancients as wandering stars, were named such because they were observed then, as we can observe today, to wander the heavens, taking their own unique spirograph-like patterns, making both forward and retrograde motions over and around the Earth during their cycles. Meanwhile, the fixed stars were named such because they were observed then, as we can observe today, to stay fixed in their constellation patterns night after night, year after year, century after century, never changing their relative positions. If Earth was truly a tilting, wobbling, spinning space ball, as NASA and modern astronomy proclaim, rotating a thousand miles per hour on its axis, revolving 67,000 miles per hour around the sun, spiraling 500,000 miles per hour around the galaxy, and shooting off several million more miles per hour through the universe, the star patterns would never look the same two nights in a row, let alone be fixed in exactly the same constellations for thousands upon thousands of years. The reality is that the Earth and Polaris do not move, while everything else in the heavens revolves over Earth and around Polaris, east to west, like in a planetarium dome. Our Earth planetarium, however, is so vast that perspective won't allow any observer to see all the stars simultaneously from any one vantage point. We can see Polaris, Ursa Major and Minor, and other northern constellations, from every point north of the equator simultaneously, but conversely cannot see the so-called South Pole Star, Sigma Octantis, the Southern Cross, or other outer constellations simultaneously from every point south of the equator, because they all sweep over a great southern arc from their rise in the evening to their setting in the morning. Facing north, the stars turn counterclockwise from right to left. Facing south, they turn clockwise from left to right. Facing east, they rise in front and set behind, while facing west, they rise behind and set in front. So their apparent motion, angle, and inclination changes depending where you are on Earth and what direction you are facing. But their actual movement is always east to west.